I guess what also was cool was like the way in, in the tens that J. Cole fucking reached his legendary status with mm-hmm. like never ever really being like a mainstream artist, but having absolute mainstream appeal. You know yeah. what I mean? Like even like your like I just know this is like uh, she spoke about it when I was in school with her. But like your girl, like your girl loves J. Cole, right? And you wouldn't mm-hmm. think like I know she's not listening to every fucking like song and like diving down through lyrics. Yeah, he's a fucking lyrical rapper, so. The yep. way that he was able to, that's what's crazy to me. Cause like, all right, the Kendrick stuff makes sense. Cause Kendrick's like a different level kind of rapper. So like, there's no way you can't like, that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then Drake makes sense. Cause like Drake had fucking hits like yep. GDO. Like you can't turn on the radio anywhere in the last 10 years and not hear a Drake song in the next like 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's going to happen. Dude, J. Cole didn't really have like those hits. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, radio hits like obviously shit that we love we know but yeah. like and like the fact that he was able to have such mass appeal without ever having like a fucking song or anything that really like took over the world for any set amount of time is like amazing bro like this motherfucker was top 50 in Forbes or some shit like uh, last year like that's fucking wild like that's it pretty crazy. crazy to look back at like those three guys ascension and like how they they all kind of took their own route, but all pretty much like on the Mount Rushmore of like yeah. 2010s like hip hop. Right. I don't know if I could speak for Kendrick's ascension, but I think at least what I remember from J. Cole when he first had a, what was it, warm up, the warm up or whatever, his mixtape and comeback, comeback, right. some like, shit like that. Even before that, like one of his first two mixtapes, okay. I think it was called uh, the warm up, but a lot of his songs, I think, appeal to girls and it kind of goes hand in hand with uh drake said something about wanting to make music for women instead of like bummy ass dudes yeah he's um, like i'll, I'll diss me for that <laughs> yeah. so i think like the female fan base like once you've solidified that like you're good no matter what and mm-hmm. i think j cole that that's how he could remain conscious but still keep the women is he had a lot of like songs about dating and fucking being a player and shit yeah no like that song with drake hit in the morning every girl oh, knew that shit. Song. yeah that was like yeah every girl knew that song that was the the mood for at least a couple of years and people yeah, would just say that shit all the time knew that fucking song bro so i'm sure a yeah. lot of people started fucking in the morning after that song yeah 